So just explaining this table, you need to rule up this table with a ruler and you'll need to actually draw the nets for any 3D objects that you find within your house. So Mr. Harris has given you one example there. He's told you dice. I wonder if you go into your pantry what you might find. I wonder if you go into your bedroom what you might find. I wonder if you go out into the garden what 3D objects you might find. Going on a shape or object hunt. Your Newman's prompts are there to help you. So you need to read the question, explain what it's asking you to do. Think about what strategies you might do or use. Go over each step in your working out and then think about what the question or what the answer to the question might be. Then for religion, we do have a warm up. So in your book, in your home book, you need to concept bust initiation. We have been talking about initiation a little bit over the last few days in religion and last week. What is initiation? What does it mean to be initiated into the Catholic family or into the Christian family? You're then doing a religion assessment. Now, Mr. Harris has made it very, very explicit here, very clear as to what you need to do. He said, watch the two videos before attempting your assessment task. The videos will help you answer the questions in the assessment. Again, it's underlined. I can tell that that is a link. So I'm going to click on that link and click on this link and watch both of those videos before I do my religion assessment. Now, you will need to use the week 10 religion assessment doc that has been assigned to you on Google Classroom. Again, that's a link, I can click on that. Watch the two vid videos on the previous slide before completing the assessment. When you have checked your work at least twice, please click turn in. You will have until midnight tonight to complete this assessment task. So the same as your writing task, it must be done in the Google Doc. You must type into the Google Doc. So if you can't do it right now and it's 11 a.m., you're going to need to wait until there is a computer or a laptop or some other device that allows you to type straight onto it. We do not want you to write it and take a photo and hand it in. That is too hard for us to mark, especially with an assessment task. We're asking you to type onto the Google Doc. It will be then time for recess or a break. Then for the last hour, catch up finishing off coding. Before you do the coding activities, have you finished and handed in your writing assessment? Have you finished and handed in your religion assessment? Have you handed in all work on Google Classroom? Have you completed all learning tasks for week 10? And have you checked any feedback left by your teacher and made, made the changes to your work? Now, literacy contract doesn't come into this, remember, because literacy contract will go for week 11 as well. Have a lovely day, everybody. Please, please, please comment on Google Classroom if you are stuck on anything and a teacher will get back to you as soon as they can. We are here too. We are always online. We are always available. Have a lovely day.